Welcome back! In this lecture I will show you how to shade a sphere, a 3D geometric shape that is completely round and that means our shadows need to be rounded as well, they need to follow the curve of our object depending on where the light source is. So let's do this again. We'll grab the shadow part and let's try to shade it in. Again, we need to create a curve. If you do something like this, this is not a curve. You can clearly see this is not a sphere. So we need to make our shadows curve with our object. All right. So let me just quickly put and give you one quick tip. If you want to shade a sphere easily in the beginning, you can use this simple technique. Pick one side and start shading from that part and then replicate it on the other side. For example, if you see over here these three black pixels, I start from the middle one to the side. Then I find the exact thing on the opposite side and replicate it. So if I put pixels to this line over here, I can do this on the same side. And then I can just keep repeating the process until they meet in the middle. Like so. Then I shade this part in. And just like that we have a shadow and this already resembles a sphere. We can go even a step further. So let me just copy paste this entire object. And we need to put our highlights. Again, using this same technique, we can just replicate what we did over here. So we start from this part over here, which is this one over here. Put one pixel like so, and then just continue on from there. Again, you want to be sure to match these parts over here because we are replicating one side to the other and then we can just slowly push them together this already looks a lot better now if i put the highlight i can do this two ways i can just pick a higher resolution like so and put the highlight like this and that's okay or we can do this manually going one by one pixel it's all up to you you can use this entire sphere and then put the shadow tone first then the mid tone highlights and that's all there is to it so one key thing to remember about our spheres is keep the shadows rounded because the object is round our shadows are what keeps the illusion of a 3d object i'll see you in the next lecture where i will explain how to shade a cylinder